Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Decline in hospitalizations may mean post-holiday COVID-19 surge ending. Deaths associated with COVID-19 have been high in January. Health experts said recent COVID-19 numbers in New Hampshire might indicate that the post-holiday surge in cases is winding down. COVID-19 cases through the holidays posted challenges to New Hampshire hospitals, including Elliott Hospital and Catholic Medical Center. But in the two weeks since hitting an all-time high, January 2nd, hospitalizations are down 29% in the state. Officials at Elliott Hospital said they have half the cases they had a month, month ago. At the same time, the number of new cases per day and the positivity rate seems to be trending down, said Dr. Greg Baxter, president of Elliott Health System. All of this would suggest to me that it looks like the post-holiday surge we had talked about has come and perhaps we're on the back side of that. The hospitalizations come down because that very vulnerable population that is going to get the most sick has gotten sick. Come to the hospital and either gotten better or unfortunately not, said Dr. Richard Reed, ICU Medical Director at Catholic Medical Center. Doctors noted that deaths are lagging indicating meaning they spike after hospitalizations and new cases. The number of deaths associated with COVID-19 has been rising in the state and experts are trying to determine if that represents the last stage of the surge. I think we're probably still in the mid of that, Baxter said. All told, we'd love to see this trend continue, things flatten out, and that timeline corresponding to the vaccine timeline coming online would probably be the best of all situations. Added Steve Ahan, president of the New Hampshire Hospital Association. It's just too early to say that we've hit that pace where we're going to see a long-term trend going down. We hope that's the case, but I think it would be a mistake to view this as that. Because case numbers remain high and only a small number of people have been vaccinated, experts said it's important for everyone to remain vigilant against the coronavirus. And that does it for this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye everyone.